welcome to this week's uh, video. Uh, nice and local, which is uh, really handy. It's a big win on several fronts, an extra hour in bed, saving on an hour's drive, um, and also uh, the cost of the petrol. So yeah, big win all round. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna catch up with the Vrodeer. Uh, I managed to get, um, eventually, uh, the Red Deer Rut uh, 2022 video complete. So by the time you see this video, that should be should be uploaded. I'm quite pleased, really. It's sort of a combination of some of the, the best bits of the vlogs uh, that I've done over the last couple of uh, couple of months, um, along with um, some some sort of fresh footage as well. So I've tried to do it so it it looks as if um, it's a sort of over a period of the day. So it's sort of dawn all the way through to dusk. So yeah, quite excited about that. So yeah, let's see if we manage to catch up uh, with the road deer. If not, this this place always throws up something, something unusual, something nice, which is which is a reason why I like coming. So yeah, let's uh, see what comes. Despite getting up uh, at dawn and sitting here for quite a few hours actually, the only visitor that I had was this muntjac. What's really distinctive is the black marks on his long pedicles. As you can see, the antlers are quite small with a, a very short brow tine. As he was travelling towards me, I was thinking, crikey, at any moment now, he's going to he's going to be aware of the fact that I'm there. I'm sort of camouflaged, so a little bit of a makeshift uh, hide. The only advantage I have is the fact that uh, the wind is blowing directly into my face so he won't get a scent of me until he's pretty close. I've paused the video um, and zoomed into his head so that you can see his suborbital glands just below the eyes, uh, which are used uh, to mark his territory and, and boundaries. But also, you can see that he has quite a primitive um, tusk, if you like, or upper canines. He seemed to walk very calmly away through the hedge and then decided to bark his alarm. On my return in the evening, I decided to sit in the adjacent field, which is one that on dusk 
you've got a greater chance of them coming out. If you look back through the, the, the videos that I've done, you've, you've seen me sat in, in this position quite often. I've decided to go slightly further left into the field. Um, back in the hedgerow, there's a nice place to sit. It affords me a good view. But it literally got to dark and sort of losing heart, really, when uh, this hare came out and uh, yeah, ran right in front of me. Managed to, to track him quite nicely. So yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a bonus um, whilst waiting uh, for the roe deer. No sign of the roe deer morning uh, and evening, which is extremely unusual. But I've sort of uh, resigned myself to giving it one more go uh, early in the morning, see if my luck changes. So here it's the blue hour, and yes, they're about, they're on the field. I was really pleased to see the doe with with the fawn. Now, there are two does here that I saw over the summer, one with one fawn, one with two. So I'm assuming that unless this doe has lost one, this is the, the one I saw and filmed uh, in the summer, a few, a few uh, vlogs back in the summer. really pleased that the fawn is developing and looking healthy. What amazes me, I've been fishing for many, many years uh, in dawn and dusk, and it's how quickly the dawn, uh, how quickly the light increases at dawn, especially if it's a nice clear morning like this morning, and conversely, how quickly the light goes. Because I'm filming here probably over sort of 15 to 20 minutes, and you can see visibly the light increasing. But I had to pan back here because as the sun came up over the horizon, it was just clipping the trees and moving down slowly and revealing such vibrant autumn colors and it seemed to be a little cue for them. You know, as the sun rose, then they just 
melted away into the woods. I turned round to see the dawn and what a dawn it was. Well, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, get a big thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, look forward to seeing you in the next one.